Welcome to United Fans Answered, where we attempt to answer Manchester United fans' most burning questions. In today's video, we explore who were the greatest of all time, or GOAT Manchester United player in every position, eventually putting together the all-time best Manchester United team. From Ballon d'Or winners to Premier League Hall of Famers, the Man United name is synonymous with elite footballing stars as well as some of the most successful managers in the history of the sport. With so many extremely talented individuals to choose from, this will be no easy task. And we would love to hear from you and whom you would pick for each position in the comments below. Starting off with the goalkeeper position, throughout Man United's history the keeper spot has been a position of great importance as it was often seen as a leadership role. Therefore we believe the greatest Manchester United goalkeeper of all time is the Danish giant Peter Schmeichel. Schmeichel is widely regarded as the greatest ever Premier League goalkeeper and even captain Manchester United during the club's greatest ever achievement, the historic treble in 1999. The Great Dane built a reputation for being a hyper-competitive, ruthless leader, often screaming at his defence, holding them to his high standards. His huge structure made the goal seem tiny to opponents as his huge arms would stretch from post to post. Schmeichel was voted the world's greatest goalkeeper twice in 1992 and 1993 and was instrumental in Denmark's famous 1992 Europe Championship triumph. After leaving Man United in 1999, Peter went on to play for Sporting Lisbon, Ashton Villa and Manchester City. In 2003, Peter was inducted into the English Football Hall of Fame and even received the most votes in the Reuters Best Goalkeeper Ever opinion poll in 2001. The goalkeeping gene must run in the family as Peter's son Casper is also a professional goalkeeper and a Leicester City legend currently playing for OG Nice in Liga 1. For the defence, we've decided to go for a typical left-back, right-back and two-centre-back structure. Therefore, in the left-back, we must go for the small Frenchman Patrice Evra. Patrice moved to Manchester in 2006 after an impressive stint with Monaco FC, including finishing runners-up in the 2004 Champions League final. The Frenchman was very fast and incredibly determined, earning him respect from the United faithful for his hard-working attitude. Evra became a staple of Sir Alex Ferguson's team, helping United to five Premier League triumphs and a Champions League title in 2008. Patrice was named in the PFA Team of the Year on three occasions, as well as the FIF Pro World Eleven and the UEFA Team of the Year. After playing 398 games for Manchester United, Patrice Evra left for Juventus in 2015. However, his love for the club was never diminished and quoted, Nothing can replace my love for United. Since retiring, Evra has built a significant media presence through his social media posts and is regarded as a fan favourite personality as well as a legendary player. Do you think there's no competition for Patrice as the GOAT United left back? Let us know in the comments below. In the centre back positions, we have selected the legendary partnership of Rio Ferdinand and Nemanja Vidic. Both the Englishman and the Serbian are widely regarded as one of the best defenders of their generations and with both players side by side, they formed a truly formidable obstacle for opposition attackers. The pair perfectly complemented each other as Ferdinand was renowned for his calmness on the ball and his ability to play out from the back with exceptional passing, Vidic was infamous for his tough tackling and warrior mentality, putting his own safety aside for the benefit of the team. Vidic once famously said, You can fix a broken nose but not broken pride. The pair were instrumental to United's domination of the Premier League in the late 2000s, picking up 11 winners medals between them as well as a Champions League triumph in 2008. Is this legendary partnership worthy of their place as the GOAT centre-backs? Or do you think one of them or maybe both should be replaced? Let us know. In right back, there is only one option in our opinion, and that is Red Nev himself, Gary Neville. Neville came through the Manchester United Youth Academy as part of the legendary class of 92, which includes the likes of his brother Philip, David Beckham, Paul Scholes, Ryan Giggs and Nicky Butt. Gary was not blessed with the talent of his teammates, but secured his position in Man United history for his incredibly consistent performances and the leadership skills he portrayed as a captain. Gary is the club's second longest serving player with 400 appearances helping the team to two Champions League titles in 1999 and 2008 and an extraordinary eight Premier League trophies. Gary Neville, as a lifelong Manchester United fan himself, never saw the need to play for any other club and has cemented himself as a fan hero and even a national personality due to his extensive media work since retirement. For the midfield positions, we have selected three of the most influential players to have ever played for the Red Devils. 
Starting off in the defensive midfield position, Duncan Edwards is a name which is almost spiritual with the United fanbase. The young Englishman was part of the famous Busby Babes team, a group of exceptional young talent brought together by manager Sir Matt Busby. Duncan was the rock on which the team was built around and was gifted with an extraordinary ability to do everything from tough tackling, sublime long-range passing and a rock-like strike to score goals. Edwards was one of the youngest ever Manchester United players, making his debut at just 16 years old. Tragically, Duncan Edwards would not live to reach his full potential as he passed away at just 21 years old from his injuries resulting from the Munich air disaster in 1958. Edwards' unbelievable talent and impressive leadership for a young man secured his legacy at the club with many older fans who were lucky enough to watch him, saying he is the greatest talent the club ever had. Former Manchester United manager Tommy Doherty once said, you can keep your Pelés and Maradonas, Duncan Edwards was the greatest of them all. Have you heard of Duncan Edwards before? Or do you know an older fan who remembers this incredibly gifted man? Let us know below. Manchester United's longest serving captain and a man nicknamed Captain Marvel is the GOAT of the central midfield position. Brian Robson was at one point the most expensive British player when he joined Manchester United from West Bromwich Albion in 1981 for £1 million. He is considered to be England's best ever box-to-box -box midfielder, able to orchestrate matches, scoring incredibly important goals as well as stopping the other team from playing with crunching tackles. Robson was captain of the club for 12 years and is credited for leading United to their first English league title in 26 years during the 1992-1993 Premier League season. Robson's ability was never more clearly shown than during Manchester United's famous 3-0 victory over Barcelona in the European Cup Winners' Cup semi-final, where Robson would score two amazing goals to secure a place in the semi-final. With 349 appearances and 74 goals, Robson is adored by the Man United fanbase and is even currently serving as an official club ambassador. In the attacking midfield spot, we have one of the most influential footballers of all time and an incredibly legendary figure at Old Trafford, so much so there is a stand named after him in the stadium. Sir Bobby Charlton was also a member of the Busby Babes as one of the most junior players. Charlton miraculously survived the 1958 Munich air disaster and was instrumental in the club's squad rebuild following the death of eight players. With an unbelievable goal-scoring ability coupled with exceptional passing and crossing skills, Sir Bobby is widely considered as one of the greatest midfielders of all time. Bobby was capped 106 times by England and even led England to their own World Cup victory in 1966 as captain. Charlton retired as England and Man United's all-time leading scorer, an unbelievable achievement for an attacking midfielder. During his career, Bobby led Man United to three league titles and a first European Cup triumph in 1968, as well as a Ballon d'Or award in 1966. Charlton continued to influence the club after finishing his playing career, serving as a senior advisor and even officially nicknaming Old Trafford the Theatre of Dreams. As one of the club's most legendary figures, there is currently a Sir Bobby Charlton statue situated outside the stadium, as well as a stand named after him. Have you been to Old Trafford and seen Sir Bobby Charlton's statue? Or maybe sat in the stand named after him? Let us know. Before moving on to the greatest Manchester United forwards of all time, we would like to explore some honourable mentions of legendary players who narrowly missed out on a place in this team, but whose exploits couldn't be underestimated. Edwin van der Sar is one of the most decorated players in football history, with 26 major trophies and even a UEFA Club Goalkeeper of the Year award. Edwin served United and a number one keeper for six years, captaining the side on multiple occasions. Dennis Irwin is well deserved as the honourable mention for left back, and many Manchester United fans may have Irwin as the club's GOAT left back with Sir Alex Ferguson even considering him as his greatest ever value signing. He played over 200 games for Man United, winning the Champions League in 1999 and seven Premiership titles, as well as being the joint most successful Irish footballer in history, having won 19 major trophies in his career. The Dutch talisman Jap Stam must be the honourable mention for the centre-back spot, as the Dutchman was the foundation of Man United's trouble-winning team, with Sir Alex Ferguson even admitting selling Jap Stam was the biggest mistake of his managerial career. Paul Scholes is an honourable mention for midfield, renowned as one of the best English midfielders of all time with extraordinary passing ability. A member of the class of 92, Scholes was a one-club man with an eye-watering 718 appearances and made an important role in United's 1999 treble triumph. Who do you think we missed out as an honourable mention? Let us know in the comments below. 
Starting off the attacking line, we have a Northern Irishman whose name perfectly suits his footballing ability. George Best is universally known to be one of the best players to ever play the game due to his unbelievable dribbling skills and lethal goal-scoring talent. Best made 470 appearances for Man United in all competitions from 1963 to 1974 and scored 179 goals. Nicknamed El Beetle due to his superstar status, Best is accredited with starting the trend of celebrity footballers with fans all around the world. Best was United star player throughout his time at the club, lifting the European Cup in 1958, scoring a superb goal in the final and two English league titles. Best received the Ballon d'Or award in 1968, cementing his place as one of the world's greatest ever players. However, Best's career was troubled due to his injuries and personal issues involving alcohol, retiring in 1984. George Best passed away in 2005, but is commemorated with a statue outside Old Trafford. Alongside George, we have a man who needs no introduction. Cristiano Ronaldo is globally recognized as one of the greatest players to ever play the game, holding a multitude of incredible records. A goal-scoring genius, Ronaldo holds the record for the most Champions League goals with 140 goals, the most international goals with 117 goals, and the most FIFA record club goals with an unprecedented 817 goals. Ronaldo is still adding to his goal tallies at the age of 37 and may even add to his unbelievable six Ballon d'Ors, of which he has only not as many as Lionel Messi. Cristiano made his name at Man United, joining from Sporting Lisbon in 2003. The Portuguese teenager quickly became a fan favourite, as his mesmerising skills and rapid pace got the whole stadium up off their feet every time he got the ball. Cristiano's best season came in 2007-2008, when he scored 42 goals in all competitions, which remains a record number to his day and was instrumental in helping Man United win the league and Champions League in the following seasons. Despite leaving Old Trafford in 2009 for his dream club Real Madrid, United fans continued to sing his name for many seasons to follow, but truly cemented himself as a club fan hero and legend when he returned to Manchester in 2021. Ronaldo proved he hasn't lost his lethal goal scoring as he netted 24 goals and was the squad's top goal scorer in his first season back. Would you say Ronaldo is the GOAT footballer of all time? We want to hear from you. Let us know. Finally, we finish off this extraordinary squad with a man the Manchester United fans call the King and has been singing songs about for over 20 years. Eric Cantona was known as the bad boy of French football and moved to England to restart his career, joining Leeds in 1992. His impressive season brought the attention of Sir Alex Ferguson, who immediately signed the French star following the season. Cantona was given the famous number 7 shirt, previously worn by George Best but quickly proved he was worthy of it with exceptional technical ability and a fearless attitude. A born leader, other players who looked to follow the Frenchman's example. He was a key factor in Manchester's first league title in 26 years, as he became the first player to win the championship with different teams in successive seasons. He led the club to a second Premier League championship, as well as to an FA Cup win the following year. Despite being banned for eight months for an incident with a Crystal Palace fan in 1995, Eric went on to lead the team to both league and FA Cup wins in his first year back. After helping Manchester in 1997 to a fourth league championship in a five-year span, he retired from football at age 30. Cantona was, and still is, much beloved by the Manchester United faithful, who even voted him as the club's player of the century in a 2001 poll. We can't have a team of Manchester United goats in every position without having a manager. When it comes to the greatest manager in Manchester United history, it is an obvious pick as the man is universally regarded as the greatest manager of all time. Sir Alex Ferguson took over United in 1986 and struggled in his first few seasons at Old Trafford, with some fans even calling him to leave. However, United salvaged their 1989-1990 season by winning the FA Cup, a victory that marked the beginning of the most successful managerial run in English football history. Under Sir Alex's management, Man United won 13 Premier League titles, two Champions League trophies, five FA Cups, four League Cups and one European Cup Winners' Cup in the 21 seasons from 1992 to 1993 to 2012 to 2013. The Scottish icon is the most successful manager in world football, with 38 major trophies in 26 years. The League Managers Association even named their Manager of the Year award after him. The nickname Godfather 
Sir Alex may be the highest regarded individual within the United fanbase and currently has a statue situated outside a stand named after him at Old Trafford. That concludes our list of the GOAT Manchester United players in every position and what an incredible team it has created. There are so many unbelievable players who have played for this famous club and we would love to hear from you, the Manchester United fans, on who would be in your team in the comments section below.